to keep your memories alive. It's on Benahu and TV. Yes, capture your events, weddings, your fairs, dance, church events, seminars, parties, photographs. Phone numbers to reach 571-991-1321 or 908-906-4830. On Denehu TV, we love you.
that we are here at the brief service for our mother, our sister, our friend, the late deaconess, Francisca Elama Angonsa. And we want to humbly invite Elder Josh Akufu, the presiding elder of PIWC TNEC, to give us a brief prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another day that you have granted us to be counted amongst the living. And these are the times, O oh Lord, that you should grant us the wisdom so that we will number our days and apply them with wisdom to live this life to your name's glory and to your name's praise. Father, we commit this gathering into your hands, O oh Lord. We are praying from this opening prayer to the benediction. We are praying that everything will be done according to the pleasure of your good will, to the glory, and to the praise of your holy name. Father, as we came home, let us leave hope that your name will be glorified. We thank and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm pressing on the upward way. from heaven 
with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. This is the word of God. Amen. Kindly take your precious and the one to sing the hymn at the last but one page. Page number six. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me with thy powerful hand. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. The second stanza says, Open now the crystal fountain. Hence the healing stream that flow. Let the fire and the cloudy pillar lead me all my journey through. Strong deliver, strong deliver. Be thou still my strength and show. Shall we humbly be on our feet? Guide me, O the
says, when I tread the verge of dawn, meet my anxious fears of sorrow, death of death, hells of destruction, land me safe on Canaan's side, songs of praise, songs of praise, I will never give to thee. Biography of the late Francesca Roman Ponsa. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Write this. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit. They will rest from their labor, but their deeds will follow them. Revelations 14 13. The late Francisco Roman Ponza, maiden name Francisco Say, was born in Accra, Ghana, on April 19, 1970, to Mrs. Elizabeth Osei and the late Opanin Anthony Yabwateng Osei. She completed her basic education at New Nation Preparatory School and at the Avery Memorial International School. She pursued her high school education at Assum Secondary School, ASEC and graduated in 1988. She subsequently enrolled at the Accra Polytechnic where she studied accounting and earned a higher national diploma, HND, in business administration. She then worked for the Accountant General at the National Service Secretary in Accra. She married Elder Robert Ponsa on May 11, 1997 and was blessed with three wonderful children. Francisca immigrated to the United States in June 2000 with her husband and their first child, Grace Amponsa. And two other children, Jesse and Erin Amponsa, were later born here. She joined the Hackensack University Medical Center in 2002, where she worked as a certified nursing assistant until her untimely death on April 8, 2020. Francisca was undoubtedly a devoted wife and mother who truly embodied the characteristics of the virtuous woman in Proverbs 31. She labored and worked vigorously for her family and barely utilized her bed for sleep. She loved, honored, and served her husband as is expected of a Christian woman. Francisca was very involved in her children's lives she attended every single PTO meeting, knew all their teachers, went for all their games, and also participated in their fundraising activities. 
As a result of her zeal for her children's school activities, she ended up serving as a co-president for three years at Benjamin Franklin Middle School in Teaneck and at the Teaneck High School for the 2019-2020 academic year until her passing. Francesca was an exceptionally stern mother when it came to discipline and as such raised her children the way they should go as instructed by scripture. Francesca was a devoted Christian and demonstrated unwavering commitment to church activities. She was born into the Catholic Church and later transitioned to the charismatic Christian Action Faith Ministry Action in Ghana where she served as an usher for over 13 years. When she moved to the United States, she initially joined the Church of God and later the Church of Pentecost. She was instrumental in the formation of the Teaneck Assembly where she worshipped until her untimely demise. Francisca was a deaconess in the Church of Pentecost and served in many leadership positions. Her involvement in the children's ministry comes as no surprise, giving her exceptional love for kids. She was the local children's ministry leader in the Teaneck Assembly till her untimely death. She also served as the district leader of the Patterson District Children's Ministry for four years. Francisca was indeed a mother to all these children and was very committed to their spiritual growth. She would pick up and drop off as many of these children as she could to church every Sunday. She was trustworthy in this regard, and parents had no reservation in trusting their words to her. She almost never missed any children-focused programs and was wholeheartedly involved in all of them. One of Francisca's many outstanding qualities is her selflessness. She was a helper who dedicated her life and resources to assisting other people, most times to her own detriment. Unsurprisingly, this won her the accolade One Woman 10,000 and Madame Theresa. Regardless of the time, place, or situation, call Francisca. And you can be rest assured, she will be there. But she would wholeheartedly and joyfully attend to your needs as though she were doing it for herself. Francisca was such a, a wonderful cook, so it was almost impossible to find someone who did not enjoy her delicacies. Not only did she enjoy cooking, but she sacrificed her life for others through cooking. Observing her cook found food for others, one sometimes wondered why she would put herself through such discomfort. She would sometimes forego her sleep and stay up all night to prepare these dishes for people. As if this was not enough, she would be right there serving people at the festive occasions she labored preparing the meals for. The Amponsa family has indeed lost a priceless gem. The Church of Pentecost and the Tina community have also lost a committed servant. We will greatly miss your presence in the land of the living. And as much as we grieve, we are consoled by the promise of Jesus in John 16, 22. So with you, now is your time of grief. But I will see you again, and you will rejoice. And no one will take your joy, will take away your joy. We believe that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Though we miss you here on earth, we know that you are experiencing comfort like you have never felt before and that you are witnessing firsthand the glory of our Father in heaven with, with the host of angels and saints. We truly believe that your tears have been wiped away and no more will you experience sorrow. 
dress comfortably. Dick, Miss Francisco, Roman Punsa. Till we meet again. Charles Wesley, Captain of Israel's host and guide, all of who seek the land above, beneath your shadow we abide, the cloud of your protecting love, our strength, your grace, our rule, your work, our end, the glory of the Lord. Shall we have with you?
but I would not have you be ignorant. Brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorry not, he has others have no hope. For if you believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, the muscle be sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. First Thessalonians 4, 13 to 14. There lies the remain of man. The mother of my three children. And Nancy, the grandma. <laughs> Rama as affectionately called me. Was more than a wife to me. I can't ascribe to her the virtuous woman and I've called her progress to work. She was a crown. my head. She made me known and cherished by many I would not have known or cared about. She lifted me up on her shoulders when I was down and weary. She would always stretch out her hand to the needy. And for her, the time was always right to help. She had therefore earned the accolade, Madame Teresa, and one woman, 10,000. The drama was in fact a selfless woman. Her zeal to the work of the Lord's vineyard and the community was beyond comprehension. Regardless of any obstacles and discouragement in her path, she remained resolute in her duties. She never ceased encouraging others to dedicate their lives to Christ Jesus and to join a believing church. She had a way of pulling others to church programs, even when they were not motivated to go at the time. Our children and I were no exception to this. Rama labored for the Lord in his fire and sometimes was evidently exhausted, but her perseverance knew no limits. She was indeed a channel of blessing. She touched the heart of many at her workplace. And as such, a soft and tender heart for her patience. On countless occasions, she left some patients and their family to the Lord. She also seized the opportunity to bring them to prayer meetings at the Partisan Central Church of Pentecost. Erama was my angel, and one for many others. She often would tell me, oh. I am this convert. I was, I'm not. I was once a backslider with a conviction that one day I will reconcile myself to my Lord. But I never knew when and how that would come true since I was enjoying my youthful exuberance and let's take it. Let's 
but I was once touched by an angel. That is my wife, Francisca. My desire for her landed me in the church, Christian Ashish Faith Ministry, Ashish, where I rededicated myself to the Lord and Savior, and never since then never departed from the faith. We got married on Sunday, Mother's Day, May 11, 1997, at Ashish Winters Road in Accra, Ghana. And we are blessed with three wonderful gifts of God, Grace, Jesse, and Erin. Rapa, death cannot have snatched you away so soon. Had your work on death not been done? Your passing has sent words of sorrows to many and even children. <laughs> but we comfort ourselves with these scriptures. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, that laid, that's laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at the day that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his affirming. Second Timothy 4, 7, 8. Rama, what a good fight. <laughs> Come on, finish your words. <laughs> there awaits you the kind of righteousness which our Lord and Savior has stopped for you. Fare well, but we meet again the glory and the beauty. Oh. Oh, 
sister, our friend, the late Ignace Francisca Erama Amponsa of the Church of Pentecost USA Incorporated, uh, who worship at the PIWC TNEC, now located in Englewood, because uh, she was a hard-working Ignace. Uh, the national head should have been here, but uh, another assignment has taken him to Cincinnati in the Ohio, uh, Columbus, uh, Ohio region. And so it's not here. Uh, we are privileged this morning to have in the chair the area head of New Jersey region, the person of Apostle Stephen Amponsa. Apostle Amponsa. We also have here the National Youth and Pensa leader and the pastor of PIWC Rebel and the person of Pastor Dr. My we are also privileged to have here this morning the pastor of the central seat of the entire New Jersey region and the person of Dr. Uh, pastor Samson Will Buffles. We are also privileged to have here Pastor Blair J. Pastor Blair J. Uh, we also have here this morning uh, the student coordinator of the uh, Church of Pentecost USA Bible Seminary and the person of uh, Pastor Joseph Dinsel, that uh, was worshiped uh, within the past semester. And I am Pastor. Emmanuel Asamojan, the district pastor of Church of Pentecost Palace and District, um, the pastor of Mama Francisca. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for coming, and without wasting my time, we want to humbly invite Pastor William Dubadi, the pastor of uh, Delaware District, to give us a brief presentation. Let's welcome. When the morning comes, all the saints of God gathered on, we will tell the story of how we overcome. It will not sound it better. Oh, we overcome. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this moment. Every heart, every mind, and soul, please speak to us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I bring you warm greetings from Delaware and the national leader of the children's ministry. We could not be here because of the situation we are in, so many restrictions. So, standing in his place, uh, to deliver a message of condolence and sympathy. Uh, to the family and to the loved ones who are gathered here. Amen. Amen. This morning, a short word of exhortation. I want us to read from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 19. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 19. And it says that if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most pitiable. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most pitiable. That's the New Kingdom's version. And then the Amplified says, If we who are abiding in Christ have hoped only in this life, and this is all there is, then we are of all people most miserable and to be pitied. Amen. Now, we all know what this life entails. In this life, there is pain. In this life, there is sickness. In this life, there is rejection. In this life, there is weeping. In this life, we have needs and wants. We never stop crying. In this life, there is betrayal. Nothing lasts forever in this life. Everything has a beginning and has an end. So if we put all, all our hopes in the things in this life, they will come to an end one day. So Paul was saying that if in this life only we have hope then we have all men the most pitiable Christians are people who don't participate in much of the fun things of the world because we are saving ourselves from the sins of the world so we try as much as possible to avoid things that will stain our garments so we abstain from so many things whilst others are having fun we are either in church praying, or fasting, or studying the word of God, or evangelizing. And the Bible says that there's a beginning and there's an end for everything. So if we put our hopes in the things of this life, we'll be miserable. If somebody builds a brand new house and gives it to you, the first year it will still look beautiful. Second, third, fourth year it begins to uh, deteriorate. Fifty years down you need to make repairs, change the roof and all that. 100 years then there are problems so at the end of the day that house will no longer somebody buys a brand new car and gives it to you the value begins to it begins to depreciate right from the day you drive it from the lot so if you have hopes in this life then among all men we are the most to be pitied hallelujah there is loneliness in this life so if you read first thessalonians chapter 4 Verse 13 to 18 says, Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring him, will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep. According to the Lord's word, we tell you. That we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who are falling asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven and with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so will be with the Lord forever therefore encourage one another with these words Jesus promised us he says I go to prepare a place for you and if I prepare a place for you I'll come for you that where I am there you may be also if it took six days to make this world that we think is so beautiful 
It has taken over 2,000 years to prepare the place he is preparing. The Bible says, no eye has seen or mind or ear heard to the things God has prepared. So God has prepared a place for us. So our hope is not in this world. If God should open our eyes for us to see where our sister is right now, I think we would rather want to join her, depart and join her where she is, and then God work with time. So beloved, our hope is not in this life. Our hope is in God. Our hope is in the second coming of Christ. He will come again for us. Our sister has taken the lead. Her work is done. It might be tough, but God is still with us. So let us all take heart. Let us all be encouraged. That this is part of the life. This is part of the life. For everything that has a beginning has an end. And God plans it. God planned it. So let us all take heart. Let us all be strengthened. Let us remind ourselves that she has done her work and her work has come to an end. It is left to us to also work hard so that when the time comes, we will join her where she is. May the Lord encourage us and strengthen us all as we more as we celebrate the life of our sister. Amen. Amen. What do we say to Pastor William Dobaji? Oh. Uh, whilst I uh, was doing the introduction, uh, I missed a few names and uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we are privileged to have here the wife of the area head of the New Jersey region in the person of Mrs. Juliet and We also have here the assistant national women's leader uh, in the person of Dickness Belinda Popon Tepri. We also have here the wife of our pastor that we introduced from the Church of God. Um, this is Christiana Mensa. Mama Francisca was involved in the women's ministry. You see all the women uh, prominent within the region uh, here. Uh, we also privileged to have here the, the regional leader of the New Jersey region uh, women's ministry in the person of Agnes uh, Matilda. We also have here the district leader of the Patterson District Women's Ministry in the person of Dignity Cynthia Boebisian. We also have here the local women's leader of the PIWC Teenage located at Englewood in the person of Dignity at Priamua Bonusu. Area head, with your permission, please, uh, Mama Francisca said on uh, the Teenage. Uh, High school PTSO chair has a chair that uh, the school wants to say something with your permission. Please, we want to invite the school to say something. Thank you, family, for allowing us to speak. My name is Chandra. I'm the president, co-president of the Parent Teacher Student Organization of Teaneck High School District. And Francesca was uh, my co-president. Uh, she worked tirelessly for many, many years, but let me read uh, one of the schools want to say. On behalf of your Benjamin Franklin Middle School PTO friends and the entire BFMS family, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for our children and the example you set for the future PTO board. As Mr. Dubow, assistant principal of Benjamin Franklin Middle School said, she is an angel on earth taken too soon. If PTO were a sport, Francesca would have been a gold medal athlete. Her level of commitment, love, and passion to make a difference to the lives of the children was unparalleled. She was absolutely everywhere. From picking up pizza, empanadas, managing the PTO meetings, setting up events, counting pennies and dollars, to make sure nothing went missing. It's for the children, Francesca would often say. For Francesca, the reward of helping one child was greater than all sacrifices she could do after long night work. Thank you, Francesca. We will miss your beautiful smile. And that was from the middle school, Benjamin Franklin. 
On behalf of the Teaneck High School Parent Teacher Student Organization and the principal, Clifton Thompson, we want to thank you, the Ponce family, for sharing Francesca with us. For so many years, she has been committed to volunteering her time to the Teaneck School District. She's been a mother figure to so many of the students and a sister friend to so many of the parents. Francesca, I love you and your work has never been unnoticed. Sleep in peace, my angel. Okay, and I dedicate this poem to our children. in heaven, Lord, please pick a bunch for me, place them in my mother's arm, and tell her they're for me. Tell her I love her and miss her, and when she turns to smile, place a kiss on her cheek, and hold her for, hold her for a while, because remembering her is easy, I do it every day, but there is an ache within my heart that will go, that will never go away. Thank you, family. Yes, I'm so. Oh, how I prepare the Yarua. Oh, who just so much on Like this, 
God is so near than you think. And I believe we will comfort you and take you through this. And at the end, we will stand to together and have a reason to give him glory. Amen. Amen. Let's go bow our heads in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, this morning we are so grateful unto you. Father, we thank you for what you have done in our lives. And we thank you for this meeting. The opportunity given us even to come together to bid farewell to our dear sister Francisca. Father, we thank you for giving her to us as a gift for about 50 years. Through her, my God, many people loved. Through her, my God, many people rejoiced. You put laughter into the mouths of many because of her life. And today we are here gathered, my God, to give account of all that you did through her. And we are standing here saying that, my God, indeed, you have worked through your lady. And therefore, we say, may your name alone be glorified. Amen. The Church of Pentecost, USA, Inc., in Jersey region, says, thank you, Father, for her as a gift to the church. You worked through her in many ways and in many means. And today, we are here saying that, may your name alone be glorified for what you did through her, my God, for the church. Father, today, as you depart, we are committing the family into your hands. You are the one who can comfort them, my God. We pray that you be with the husband and the children in the mighty name of Jesus. When they are alone and their minds are roaming around not knowing what to do, Father, I pray that you reveal yourself to them, that you are closer to them than they, than they think. And Father, you will comfort them. We commit the entire family into your hands, our Lord and our God, be with them and comfort them, my God, in Jesus' name. We commit the rest of the program into your hands, O oh God. We know that you are with us. And therefore, at the end, we have a reason to give you glory. Thank you for what you have done, and thank you for what you will do in our lives. In Jesus' name, we are filled with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 We humbly take our seats. We want to humbly invite Dickness Belinda upon Tabri to give us the vote of thanks, and then we'll take the announcement. Um, the Hackensack Medical Center Workers Union has something to say, and so they will reach us via Zoom while the file pass is going on, and we'll say something briefly about Mama Francisca. So please stay tuned. Take this bit. executives for their prayer support during this difficult time of the Ampersons family, the area head and his executives, the pastorates in the nation and especially New Jersey region. We say may the Lord God Almighty bless you all for your relentless support and encouragement for the family. Again, I want to bless all members of Church of Pentecost and Christian Christians around United States and elsewhere. Everyone watching us right now, I stand on behalf of the Apostles family to say, may the Lord bless you for your support, your gifts, and your encouragement. I was expected to stand at Francisca's 50th birthday <laughs> to give a vote of thanks. <laughs> Not a... Not a... But... 
like this says, it is well. So it is well. May the name of the Lord be blessed for giving Francisca to us for almost 15 years. Lord, your name again be exalted. We thank everyone. And may the Lord bless you all as you continue to keep the family in your prayers. God bless you. to take the announcement from the presiding elder of Congress and sister of Lady Ness, Elder Josh, please, any announcement. Praise the Lord. The main announcement is from here. We're going to take uh, Route 4 West, and as we pass the Prams Mall, the Garden State Plaza, we're going to take the Century Road exit. Like you're going to Bergen Community College. But even before that, when you get off of that exit, I believe the first major light that you see will be the cemetery, George Washington. Cemetery? Memorial Park. Memorial Park. That's where it's going to be. Do you have additional information regarding the direction? Sorry, it's okay. Please turn on your headlights and your, and your flashers and we're all going together. We're all living together, so put on your headlights. Not your high beam, but your low beam. And just let us stay together. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. We humbly invite Pastor Dr. Mike Potterfield to give us the closing prayer. And after that, our area head will give us the benediction. Shall we please rise for the prayer? Gracious God, we want to thank you for this moment. Lord, you are the one who is the author of life. And we thank you for all that you have done. You've instructed us in your word that in everything we should say thank you. You've blessed us with a wonderful mother, wife, a mentor to many. And at your own time, you've decided to call her home to rest with you. As we mourn, we are thankful to you even in the midst of our mourning. We ask that your presence will continue to be with every one of us. Lord, may your mighty hand sustain the family. May you continue to bless everyone who has contributed in one way or the other to this process. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. As you are as receiving the meditation, I want to announce that the final funeral rites will come on later. And we'll let you know, for those of us, uh, those of you who are watching this live from far and near, we will let you know when the final funeral will come on and we'll entreat all of you to come together with us on that day to, for that important occasion. God bless you as we bow our heads for the benediction. Now may the Almighty God be with you. May the one who is able to comfort comforts you and may he keeps you in all that you do. May you, may you be established in him that you will never be found wanting on his coming. God blesses you now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh,
amane amane o kone o
Our dwelling place from generations to generations. Yes. We are grateful to you once again this afternoon for the opportunity given to our mother, even to accept you as a Lord and personal Savior. Mm. Father, we are grateful. Amen. Today, as we lay her down, this is our humble prayer. 
We pray that you send forth your light and your truth into our hearts so that we will be able to serve you in our generation. Mm. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you. We bless you for what you have done for the entire family in this season. We know that there is a day that we will meet again. We bless you and we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. 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 I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he or she dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Job once said that I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. The Lord is the one who gave, and the Lord, the Lord is the one who has taken. May the name of the Lord be praised forever and ever. Amen. 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 I have another word in you. were born or you were brought forth mm. the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting you are born. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return to the dust, O sons of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. You sweep men away in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning, though in the morning it springs up new. By evening it is dry and withered. We are consumed by you and terrified by your indignation. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For us in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive, but each in his own turn. Christ the first fruits, then when he comes, those who belong to him. Then the end will come when the hands over when he hands over the kingdom of God to the Father after he has destroyed all dominion, authority, and power. For he must reign until he has put all enemies under his feet. Oh hallelujah. Amen. A day is coming that our Jesus Christ will appear. And that day, that day, we will see our dear sister once again. Oh. That day she will join with us and then we will sing glory to the one who died for our sins and has redeemed us unto himself. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I declare to you, brothers, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Yeah, 
Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. Amen. And our dear sister, as we all know, the witnesses indeed said the Lord. I haven't been here for that long, almost three years now. And the sister, whenever you call her, she will be there. Whenever you call for anything, she will never miss it. Whenever you need help, pastors will meet often. But any time the pastors will meet in the central church, the our dear sister will find a way to come there to save us. And whenever I have something in my mission house, this sister will be there to save. The last time was when my wife had it, her birthday, October. Our dear sister was there throughout the day, serving, helping. May her soul rest in peace. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And I want to encourage the family members that she is not lost. She has both of you to And I pray that all of us will be able to stand there as she did. So that when the trumpet sounds, then the rest of the family will come to the Lord. Amen. Father, we bless you for all your goodness throughout the generation. We thank you for the great things that your son Jesus Christ has done for us by forgiving us our sins and dying under the cross and resurrection and bringing us back to you. At this time, we commit to your Lord. Soul and spirit of our dear sister into your heart, into your gracious care. We know you are ready with you. We are praying, O oh God, that you continue to sustain our brother Robert and all the children and the family and the entire church in times like this. That we continue to look up to you, O oh Lord, our God of resurrection. Let us take solace and consolation in the fact that you, Jesus, rose again from the dead. And because of this, we see our sister again. So we bless you, O oh God, that you will continue to walk in your ways and by your mercy. We bless you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, before the benediction, we would like one of the family members to have something to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So on behalf of um, Elder Robert and Ponsa, the children, myself and, and the entire family, we want to extend our sincerest gratitude to the church and for everybody who has prayed for us and has walked with us and has consoled us. Your words have really made an impact as we journey and as we move along. And the only thing we can say is that God bless you all and um, whatever you have lost you know, in serving the family in this time of crisis, may God replenish and may God richly, richly bless you all. And still continue to pray for us. The journey is not ended. The healing is still in motion. And as we move along, we know that the Holy Spirit with us will comfort our hearts 
as we move on. God bless you all. Amen. Yeah, I know some people are working with the family here in Ghana. Family at this time, please bring your flowers. Family first, please. And we receive the benediction. Let's hope our heads wherever you are. Pastor Mike, give us the magician, then after we can go to the house. Now, shall we take the magician? Unto him who gave his daughter to the world, and who laid his hair and blessed him to the generation, and who in his own wisdom called her home at this time, unto whom be all glory, all honor, and all praise. The Lord Jesus has all things and things. Even now, forever, Amen. 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 God bless you.